वेलकम स्टूडेंट होप यू ऑल आर फाइन हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी सो इन आर टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग द चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज रीचिंग द एज ऑफ एडोलेसेंस सो इन दिस लेसन वी विल कम टू नो अबाउट द डिफरेंट फीचर्स ऑफ एडोलेंस पीरियड एंड पुबर्टी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर टूडेज क्लास hope you all have bring your books copy pen pencil along with you if not i am giving you 10 second time to bring out all your pen pencil and equipment because along with teaching i'll give the question in each and every line so that you can learn and understand the whole chapter very easily so bring it fast hope you all are ready let us start our study so first of all adolescence and puberty these are the two important topic that is needed to be studied by us so first of all what is adolescence before that i am just uh, i just want to make you explain that just after the birth from mother's womb the baby is called infant so from infant from 0 to 2 years the baby remain infant from 2 year to till 12 years he is called a child understood and from 12 years to 19 years he is called adolescence or adolescent so till 19 means from where 13 to 19 it is the time it is called teen teen for teenagers understood teen for teenagers 13 14 15 so there is a teen isn't it it is common from 13 to 19 so the child who comes under the age of 13 to 19 are called teenagers or also called adolescent understood so from 0 to 2 they are called infant <coughs> sorry from 2 to 12 years of age he is called he or she is called a child and from 13 to 19 he is he or she is called adolescent or teenager understood so here we are going to study each and every line so that you can understand adolescence is a transitional period between childhood and adulthood means from childhood means from 2 years to 12 years there is a the baby is called child and from adolescence from 13 to 19 he or she is called adolescence and from 20 onward he is called adult so it is the transitional period or you can say a middle period between childhood and adulthood understood it is the middle period or transitional period between childhood and adulthood understood so adulthood will remain till 50 years or you can say 60 years after that old age is started understood so let us study it involves various psychological and physical sense psychological means there is a vital change in the mind take place in either a girl or a boy so his own behavior all thing that he is he or she is thinking is totally changes because with the change the age the child slowly and simultaneously going to be an adult so in between this a vital change take place between childhood and adulthood so these change are psychological psychological means uh, 
related to behavior understood and physical change means body also get changes there is a different changes that can be observed among the children of adolescent understood so it involves various physiological sorry psychological psychological means yeah brain related okay psychological and physical changes in an individual and a rapid spurt in growth means the growth become very prominent means the growth is become fast in this age so physio uh, psychological changes observe and physical changes also observe along with the rapid growth understood so let's study the range of this period is 10 to 19 obviously it is given over 10 to 19 so as i have already told you from 12 to or 13 to 19 so that age is called teenager if it is given over here you should learn this okay you should learn this 10 to 19 whatever it is given in the book you should follow it sorry 10 to 19 so what is the period of adolescence it is 10 to 19 years of the age so here the first question can be putting out that is define adolescence uh, answer will be adolescence is the uh, transitional period between childhood and adulthood so what are the changes it is the first question note it down next question what are the changes what are the changes changes that do we observe observe in adolescence in adolescence as adolescent so what do we observe it involve there is a various psychological and physical changes in an individual with rapid spurt in growth or rapid growth you can say understood so what is the period of adolescence what is the range of age of adolescence next next uh, write the next question what is the range of age of adolescence so it is 10 to 19 years of age okay so the next question comes what is puberty define puberty next question comes define puberty so puberty it is the period of onset of sexual maturity in human and involve distinct physical changes in the body isn't it so the age in which you are going through is a adolescence it is a period of adolescence and inside in your body you can feel there is a very vital changes take place means a child slowly and simultaneously converting into an adult and that's why very different kinds of sexual organs are also going developed so you can see at this period that is in the in the adolescence the sexual maturity can be seen a child sexually mature into an adult so this sexual maturity in a child the period in which this kind of uh, things happens is called puberty so the period it is written over here note down this question define puberty i have already told you define puberty so puberty is the period yeah it is a period remember it is a uh you can say unique it is the unique time of adolescence in which sexual maturity in human sexual maturity maturity means mature sexually a child mature into adult so sexual maturity involve involve and distinct physical changes physical changes means in female you can see breast appears and in male you can see um the taste is become large the pain is become large along with that you can observe there is a lots of changes in the uh, body body hairs develops 
yeah sound become hoarse so these are the physical changes we will study these physical changes just below it okay so this can be seen in both male and female yeah but in different way so this period is called puberty understood now during this stage both the male and female reproductive organ become functional yeah those things which are in in functional non functional at the age of childhood now become functional and the child slowly change into an adult making the individual capable for reproduction so it is the definition of puberty you should note it down it is very important not only for class 8 also till bsc understood so it is a very unique feature that take place in this age now another topic that we are going to study is the primary and secondary sexual character what do you mean by primary sexual character and what do you mean by secondary sexual character yeah now let's study it there are some physical differences between male and female and that helps into differentiate between the two gender means if i want to say i i want to say uh, uh, either of the two babies these are the two babies which of them is a male and which of the of them is a female we can see physically both of them and can we can say that this is a male or this is a female on the basis of the organ sexual organs that is present in both of them isn't it so those character which are present from very birth and help to distinguish whether a baby is a male or female is called primary character understood once again suppose if a baby with uh, you can say um, physical character like uh, with a penis we can say he is a male and without penis in that case we can say she is a girl child isn't it so physical appearance in the children help to make you understand that both uh, either of the baby is a male or female so there are some physical differences yeah physical differences which can you observe in the from the very birth present in both the male and female and help us to differentiate between the two gender so from very birth we can easily differentiate a male and female isn't it some of these character are present of from the time of the birth so these character are present from the time these characteristics are known as primary sexual characteristics so note it down define define primary sexual characteristics note it down these characteristics are present from very birth understood this kind of characteristics remain from the birth okay there is no any kind of changes take place now we are going to study about another topic that is called secondary sexual character so what happened when a baby girl change into adult at that time you can see uh, breast appears there is a pubical hairs that appears at the region of pubic region yeah and uh, hairs can also be seen just uh, beneath the arms yeah and uh, you can see there is a behavioral changes also can be observed so these changes which appear at the age of adolescence are called secondary sex secondary sexual characters in the male what do you observe the in in the, in the male you will see there is a hair in whole body or in the some part of the body can be seen developing after that you can also observe that penis become enlarged the testes become enlarged the pubical hair is also become enlarged so these are the very different changes that appears at the pay, at the time of adolescence adolescence so these characteristics which appear at the age of 12 to 19 years in the male and female these changes are called secondary sexual character understood so in addition to these 
देयर आर सम अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट एन ऑर्गेनिज्म डेवलप ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ पुबर्टी सो वाट इज द टाइम ऑफ पुबर्टी इन गर्ल्स इट इज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन एंड इन बॉयज इट इज फ्रॉम थर्टीन टू नाइनटीन सॉरी थर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन बट इट दिस टाइम वेरीज वेरीज मीन्स दिस टाइम कैन बी चेंज इंडिविजुअल टू इंडिविजुअल मीन्स गर्ल और बॉय और डिफरेंट और गर्ल और बॉय डेवलप एट द डिफरेंट टाइम सो इट इज नॉट एन एग्जैक्ट टाइम ऑफ एडोलेसेंस ऑल दो सम स्टार्ट वेरी अर्लियर एट द एज ऑफ नाइन एंड कंटिन्यू टिल फिफ्टीन और सिक्सटीन लाइक दैट सो इट इज अ ओवरऑल एवरेज टाइम पीरियड ऑफ पुबर्टी इन फीमेल इट इज फ्रॉम टेन टू फोर्टीन समटाइम्स इट इज रिटर्न इन द बुक दैट इट इज स्टार्ट इन फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन इन गर्ल्स and in boys it is 13 to 15 so it varies so don't mind it okay in addition of these there are some other characteristics of that an organism develop at the time of puberty so at the time of puberty some characters develop and these characteristics are called secondary sexual characteristics understood so primary se- se- uh, sexual characteristics present from birth as secondary sexual character sticks develop after the birth means at the age of 12 to 19 hope you understood now let us start learning the another topic so what are the changes do you observe as a secondary sexual character in male development of mustache mustache means mooch beard dadi hairs on the chest and adam's apple adam's apple means yeah adam's adam's apple present at this yeah you can see that it is given in the figure yet this figure is called adam's apple so adam's apple development of adam's apple can be seen in male so these are the unique features that can be observed in male understood so these are the common feature of secondary sexual character in male similarly in female development of breast yeah hair pattern in the body hair pattern where the hair develop hair develops just above the above the yeah female reproductive organ yeah uh, along uh, same thing happen in the male also so hair pattern on the body broadening of hip yeah hip become broader hip hip means kamar broad means chauda ho jata hai so hip become broader broaden of the hip region are some of the secondary sexual character so these are the secondary sexual character that can be observed in the female and these are the sex- secondary sexual character that can be observed in the male so note it down what are the what are the note it down this is the very important question what are the different secondary sexual character what are the different secondary sexual character secondary sexual character sec yeah secondary sexual character one number in male and in another number in female so one in male and second number in female understood so these are the two very important question that is needed to be required to learn now i am going to make you learn about the change in voice pattern you can observe yourself that your voice is become hoarse or you can say uh, louder than before isn't it it happens in mainly in the male not in female remember so what is the reason why the how ho- ho- sorry sound become loud in the male and uh, in case of female it become shrill shrill means very sweet in male it become loud and in female it become sweet so what is the reason of loudness and sweetness of the sound so in male the larynx means the windpipe which comes from the nose opens and it become broaden the larynx become broaden and due to broadening this make the sound loud 
loud okay so let's study you may have noticed the difference between the voice of child and a grown adult means adult adult have some uh, hoarse sound or you can say not hoarse means not not that hoarse it is a hoarse means loud louder louder sound okay so you ha have noticed the difference between the voice of child and the grown adult an adult male has a deep and hoarse voice isn't it whereas the child has a soft voice so the adult male develop a large voice box the voice box become large and it just just comes out in the neck region you can also observe in many male so the large voice box in the male often seen protruding structure protruding means that that can be seen that it comes out of the neck you can easily observe it so this structure is also called adam's apple so here what what will we write the question note down the question why the sound in male become harsh harsh spelling is this harsh at the age of adolescence at the age of adolescence okay next question at the age of adolescence note it down why the sound of the male become hoarse at the age of adolescence note down the another question it is also very important name the organ that helps to produce sound name the organ that helps to produce sound noted what is adam's apple note down this question also it is very important what is adam's apple what is adam's apple note it down so this is these are the very important question now the female on the other hand has a high pitched song voice this term you have already studied in physics this year isn't it so high pitch means shrill shrill means bahut patla shrill sound now these are the two topic that has been taught by me and it is about 22 minute past we are going to end our class over here next day we will study from this part okay so whatever the question has been given by me should be completed and sent it in the group or personal to me for signature or shining okay thank you bye bye